with news stories you won't see on any other station. Well, today we are protecting your money and you might have noticed some stores, more stores hanging up the going out of business signs. Well, new this morning, the E-Team's investigator Jonathan Walsh warns those great closing sales may not actually be all that great. When you're driving down the street, you might have noticed store after store after store marking down merchandise. But before you go searching for those slashed prices, we have an alert for you. Shopping centers across America are looking like wastelands. Sears, Macy's, JCPenney, GameStop, Radio Shack, and Payless Shoes are just a few of the retailers closing at least some of their stores. The biggest so far, appliance retailer H.H. Gregg closing all 200 stores in 19 states. As the sale signs are going up, shoppers are lining up for deals. It's all tempting, but you need to realize that normal buyer protections may not exist. Take a really, really close look at the merchandise. Make sure it works, make sure the packaging isn't damaged, look at the returns and refund policy. The Better Business Bureau says before you shop a liquidation, ask what happens if the item is defective. Also, if you recently got an extended warranty, find out what happens once the store closes. Read the fine print, see who that warranty is through. I'm on your side investigator Jonathan Walsh for the E-Team. Well, the E-Team has already documented delivery problems at H.H. Gregg. The company says it's not allowed to issue returns of more than $2,800 on items bought before March 6th, the date of their bankruptcy filing. Nick. Well, Karina got some good news. Cleveland is about to get its groove back.